so folks I'm in China don't have much battery life but see if I can do a quick video just to see what the street scene is like in this part of my neighborhood so this is a uh, Um, the hostel, I said hostel and I'm staying in Beijing and um, again not much battery life so let's see what we can find I like this area because it has a lot of street food and easy access to everything ice cream shining ice cream shining ice cream why not Tired today, did a lot of walking, but it was good. I went to a um, restaurant. I went to um, the temple, temple of heaven, I think you call it. So that was good. Hello? Hello? Welcome. Yes, I'm Menu? making a video first and then I can check it out later. Menu? Not now. Maybe later, okay? But I appreciate you, thanks. It's one of my best things that I love here is the skewers. It's amazing. Good stuff. You can pick whatever you want. They'll roast it for you and go ahead and enjoy. And um, I think it is kind of relatively cheaper here uh, as opposed to you know, Japan or South Korea. So you will see a lot of those skewers again, like I said. Quite popular. Matter of fact, that's what I had last night. I don't know if you recall. Uh, I haven't posted the video yet, sorry. Don't know what that is. But, lots of action in this street. It's not a boring place. And when it comes to food, you can eat a lot. Uh, you know, it's important in China if you, if you get a hostel or a hotel to have it close to places where you can eat. So China, Beijing is big, huge and complicated and you don't want to have to go way too far. So okay, that's something else. You don't want to have to go way far out in order to find things to do. Uh, access to the train, um, food, restaurants, etc. So lots of nice little uh, restaurant chains around here. I like those little traditional ones where you just go in and this one looks like a place I can come and eat. I love it. <laughs> so we'll see what the night brings. Yeah, I like to eat late when I travel so let's see what the night brings. So just a quick walking street tour of the area. Nothing fancy, just like I always do. I think I wanted to show, I'm going to put the name of the hostel so in case you want to come to Beijing. It's a real big challenge when you come to Beijing, where to go, where to stay, where to have access to what. I think this area has a ton of hostels slash hotels. And if you come in this area, I think it's a good choice as to uh, where you can stay and get some food to eat. So I highly recommend it. And also, the Temple of Heaven was only a mile and a half away. Tiananmen Square is about, oh, the same, a mile and a half away. And of course, Forbidden City is right next to Tiananmen Square. And then, 